uh, what's up YouTube, making a quick AIDS vlog, um, uh, social media has been, uh, a little bit overbearing on this topic, uh, so I don't want to, uh, not try to be controversial or anything, but I just wanted to say what my experience was with the, uh, the COVID-19 vaccines. I will say in the past, after my diagnosis, I got the pneumonia vaccine. I had some soreness in the arm and neck and, uh, that vaccine helped stop my persistent fevers though. And then, uh, with the COVID vaccine, the first dose, I didn't have, uh, noticeable, adverse side effects besides being sort of sleepy the next day and then uh the second dose and then especially the booster shot uh i not only it it's it made my aid symptoms worse and i had allergic uh reactions and i had different allergic reactions after the booster shot that i had with the second dose and i've St still even recently had uh, some allergic reactions that I believe to be directly correlated uh, with those vaccines. And uh, uh, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tough like, uh, like a call to make on that sort of stuff because it's uh, after the second dose I had uh, uh, a higher CD4 count, um, so it's like, uh, sometimes stuff that's, uh, difficult on the body, uh, can cause a greater immune reaction, uh, which can lead to an increase in CD4, so I'm hoping that after the booster shot, my CD4 count will be higher, uh, but honestly, I'd, I feel like especially the, maybe the first or the second dose, uh, not too bad, but I I felt uh, not so good after the the booster shot. Um, and my concern is is uh, I know that uh, the uh, what's it called the um, um, the what is in progress for an AIDS HIV cure is a, uh, is a monthly, uh, intravenous, uh, uh, or not a monthly, I think it's maybe just one or two treatments or something, but the CRISPR laser art thing, uh, would be intravenous, and it's just like, if people are, like, I had adverse reactions from this vaccine, and now it's just like, I'm, uh, concerned that, uh, like, uh, I, I, it's not related at all to the CRISPR laser art, so I think that, uh, that will still be fine, but it's just, like, I'm worried that the, uh, the topic of vaccines will be, uh, 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 uh muddled in a way where people are not sure whether, uh, like flu shots or pneumonia shots are safe. It's just like I've I've been getting my flu shots while I got my pneumonia shot the other year, and uh, the pneumonia shot was a little unpleasant afterwards. Uh, it it is not. Uh, I mean, uh, everyone there's there's vaccine injuries for different vaccines. I'm not discouraging vaccines uh, because for me, I feel like the. Uh, flu and pneumonia shots were, uh, important for my health, um, and I think the first COVID shot didn't seem to do, uh, uh, like any, uh, harm to me. I was sleepy the next day, and I got the second and the third one, even though I had a reaction to the second one, uh, all three Moderna, by the way, so I figured all three Moderna, and then, uh, um, uh, what's it called? I figure the third shot, if I it wouldn't be any different reaction than the second shot, and uh, and I did have a medication interaction uh, from the second and the third shot. Uh, not not a not my prescription medication at all. Uh, uh, but it was. Uh, uh, ibuprofen and uh antihistamines specifically and then 
earlier, I, uh, I tried a different vape juice and I had a little bit of reaction to that. I don't know if it was in there, but I was just like, ah, weird. Um, so, um, I am, uh, I'm thinking, uh, I don't want to, uh, I want to talk about HIV and AIDS, but I don't want people in the future, uh, the, the, the like, uh, people with, AIDS often have, uh, second, secondary infections, and, uh, like, the, uh, like, so I don't want to discourage people from getting vaccines, because there's already been a lack in trust of vaccines, uh, sometimes, uh, and I didn't have an adverse, uh, uh, long-term reaction to, uh, other vaccines, um, but I think, uh, uh, I think the, uh, um, especially the booster shot, I just felt more out of it. I think it's each person's, uh, body and biology maybe, uh, have different reactions. Um, but I, over the past few years, I know what is, uh, what seems to be good for my body, what doesn't seem to be good for my body. And, uh, what I know is that uh, it just seemed to take more of a toll on my body than maybe uh, what would have been uh, optimal for me. And it seemed to affect, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, like uh, it was uh, not uh, the, the uh, it's difficult to describe, but, uh, the effects were not pleasant, um, so it was like, uh, um, I don't know, so it's like, uh, but I know if I was, uh, right after my diagnosis, if I had gotten the vaccine then, when I was feeling more frail and stuff, especially that third vaccine, I don't think my body would have, uh, I, I think I, uh, if I'm reacting better to the vaccines that I would have if my health wasn't improved from where it was the other year. So I'm confident that, uh, uh, I'll be able to recover and hopefully have an immuno increase from these vaccines. But at the same time, it is disconcerting to me that, uh, that uh, people are being forced to take vaccines and that, uh, and that, um, uh, that, uh, I think, uh, and then people having, uh, not so good reactions to vaccines, I think, uh, and they, uh, it is, uh, it seems to not be something, uh, promising to the HIV AIDS community, especially in the developing countries. There's, the, if there's, uh, people have an adverse reaction, so it's just going to decrease trust in other vaccines and, uh, potential treatments for HIV, which I find, uh, a, a, a an extreme, ethical and moral dilemma so i'm like uh how had it been uh i don't know how how could that stuff have been screwed up so much i'm not really sure um so anyway y'all this is uh i don't know i know uh I don't want to make it sound like I'm not taking COVID-19 seriously or that sort of thing, but I, I, what, another concern is just like, I know my health condition is different than other people's health conditions. And there's, there's people with health conditions that, uh, uh, or people without health conditions that, uh, want to be able to choose if they have something injected in their body or not. And it's just like, uh, I find it embarrassing for uh, 
that uh, in some places there's been uh, requirements for the vaccine in regards to the government because it's just like uh, in work and other types of stuff because it's just like uh, I'm like uh, like how could they have uh, I don't know it's like and especially concerning because I had uh, it had interactions with medications and everyday medications well not necessarily medications I take every day but uh, regular medications like ibuprofen and uh, antihistamines uh, like I had inter interactions with those and I was just like ah uh, it's, uh, uh, it's concerning that uh, people are required to take the vaccine anywhere. So it's just like, uh, I don't know. I, I'm, uh, I, got, I got the two vaccines and the vaccine, so I'm going to be traveling. Um, but I am, uh, it's been over a week since I got that third dose. And, uh, I'm still uh, uh, not quite as with it as I'd like to be. Uh, I'm getting there, and like I said, I'm optimistic that maybe, maybe I'll have a, uh, uh, a CD4 increase, maybe, uh, from this extra dose of the vaccine, but it's just like, I, I think... Uh, uh, it just feels like uh, it, it's probably would be uh, overwhelming for uh, a lot of people with a health condition like mine or people that are uh, elderly or people that are um, have different health conditions. So it's just like when I uh, see that uh, yeah, everybody is being required to get the vaccine, it's just like it's a very difficult subject because it's like people with uh, health issues want a stronger immune system and uh, uh, the body uh, dealing with the antibodies of a uh, vaccine. So like your immune system can become stronger from that, but at the same time, it might not be what is best for everybody's body at a, like, like, uh, uh, especially depending on where they're at in regards to whatever health condition they have, um, or if they, regardless of that, whether they have a health condition or not, some people, uh, um, uh, everyone's biology and reactions and stuff are, uh, different, so it's just like, I realize that, uh, there is, uh, all sorts of, uh, different stuff going on, but I'm, I'm giving my opinion from my perspective with my health condition and the experience I had with, uh, how I re reacted to the medication, uh, not to the medication, to the, uh, to the vaccine. I'm, uh, um, and by the way, talking about the medication, I've been taking Victarvi, my, uh, my, uh, not antiviral, my, uh, my, my antiretroviral is what they called, uh, but the, uh, um, my antiretroviral Victarvi, uh, is, uh, uh, still keeping my viral count undetectable, and, uh, uh, so that's good, and it's just, like, uh, a very, uh, difficult uh, situation to navigate in regards to vaccines, and I just wanted to give my, uh, uh, my, just, my experience from my perspective of how the, uh, the vaccine affected me, and it's just like, uh, I noticed up in Canada today, they're setting regulations, uh, for public transport, uh, to be able to, uh, travel within their country, um, uh, and 
Canada is a different region than the United States. Like, they, they have harsher winters. They are probably, uh, maybe they're more eager to get people vaccinated before the winter. I don't know, but it's just, like, the reaction that I had to the previous dose of the vaccine was just, like, it, it, it didn't just make me feel, like, uh, more tired. It made me feel it, it, unusual in a way that is just like, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, not, not a, uh, not a normal vaccine reaction. Uh, so it's just like, uh, I don't know how common or rare such vaccine reactions are, but it was just like, uh, I think, uh, people should be able to have the the choice to say like if no means no like then no means no like government get the message uh this uh political agenda of uh forcing the vaccines is not an agenda to keep pushing and then it's just like uh it's like uh like A lot of the government keeps telling people, like, you need to get these shots and stuff like that to be able to do this or that. It's just, like, seems, like, inappropriate to tell people that. Uh, so, it's just, like, uh, I don't know. That's just my opinion on the, uh, the issue. And, yes, I'm still vaping. I quit smoking cigarettes after my diagnosis, but it's just, like, uh, this is, uh, uh, not as, uh, honestly, it helps, uh, helps me focus, and, uh, I don't know, I'm without, uh, smoking cigarettes, uh, find vape site. I still smoke, uh, hemp CBD and THC, uh, cigarettes and stuff sometimes, but it's different. Um, not as harsh how long as just smoking a pack a day of cigarettes. So, um, anyway. And also, uh, uh, cannabis, hemp, CBD is, uh, is sort of relaxing. I, I don't recommend it for, if you're too frail after newly diagnosis of, uh, AIDS, if it's full blown AIDS, because then it was kind of more giving me anxiety than uh, not. But then, uh, like, uh, I'm I'm reacting normally to uh, cannabis and CBD and THC. Well, CBD wasn't a problem for me ever. But I don't think it's a problem for anyone. And THC. Was, uh, I've always liked THC, but when I was having, uh, after my diagnosis, it was just, uh, I, I was in, uh, it just wasn't for me then, um, which is all right. There's people without health conditions that, uh, that, uh, don't react the same to, uh, THC as, uh, other people do. No need to, uh, pressure about that, and, uh, anyway, y'all, that's a concerning issue, 